Good morning, everyone. Okay. If you saw my overage and rant video, I want to make a couple of things very clear. Um, I follow coupon policies at my stores. And if a cashier tells me to put more um, or use more coupons than the five light coupon limit that Kroger has, I do it. The cashier told me to. I'm not going to stand there and argue with a cashier who doesn't make that much money telling me to just go ahead and put them together. That's her ass, not mine. So when people start talking about, well, Penelope Jackson's a horrible couponer, well, let me tell you something. I use expired coupons because my Kroger actually accepts them for almost a month. Almost a month. And the reason being is because they don't send coupons back to that the manufacturers in a week of the sale. They don't do that. So the computer is going to read that coupon as a valid coupon until they decide to send the coupons to the manufacturers. And to whom I'm speaking, young lady, let me tell you something. I am a couponer who has one account at Kroger, one account at Dollar General, one account at CVS, and one account at Family Dollar. Okay? When you start speaking of other couponers, you might want to look at yourself in the mirror. So before you start calling someone a bad couponer or a fraudulent couponer, look in your own mirror and look at your own practice. That's all I'm going to say. So back to the week to week. Okay, this week, and uh, we're doing really good on our five-week no spend. We're really doing good. Um, yes, I have spent some money, and yes, I have made some money, and yes, we're still saving. So what I'm going to show you is this is our week-to-week -week this week. I had $24 left in my right side balance at the end of the week. I had $24 bucks left. That went directly over to my left side. My check was $377.25. 77.25 went directly over into that left that left hand balance that left hand side balance pardon me my allergies are really acting up today okay we had I have three hundred dollars to work with I had two bills to pay this week I had an eighty four dollar bill and I had a seventy seven fifty three dollar bill but I'm going to show you why I put it down at seventy eight dollars on my balance um, so altogether, I paid out $161.63 in bills this week. Now, um, that left me with $138. I guess I should hold that back up. $138. Now, as you know, I put $60 in an envelope for $20 for gas, $25 for groceries, and $15 for miscellaneous. Well, today, I will be getting paid $30 cash from some things that some girls wanted from me. So I'm only taking out $30 out of my bank account to make that total 60. So that's going to leave me $108 on my right side balance after all my bills are paid, my cash envelope is filled. So that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you something here. Oh, it's still too low. Okay, now as you can see, it says right here, right there, um, that I took out $78 and that's because that's how I save money for my left hand side. The bill was actually $77.53. Now I will go ahead and put $78 over there and that leaves me 47 cents. Now I'm going to tell you something. When you start paying your bills or you start buying groceries or whatever and you just round it up on that um, right, side, right side of your checkbook, you're going to have change. And all of that change adds up. Now, some people will take $5 or a dollar over of what the, the amount is. I don't do that. I just do the change because that's plenty. So right now on our left-hand balance, we are up to $1,484.69. So I would say within the first week of October, on the Friday of the first week of October, we will be putting another lump sum into our debtor's account. And I'm so happy about that because we really need to get that going. I need to get these 
this debt paid off so that way we can get the farm going and we will be clear of debt. So all of you have a great day and just know I try to be the best couponer that I can be. <laughs> and you should too. Y'all have a great day. Bye.